We are here at Saul Ariel Fencing School in Seattle, Washington with the amazing Miles Chamley Watson over here. Uh, we are very fortunate to uh, photograph him today fencing. Uh, it's going to be really fun. We're going to start out with a pretty simple, uh, naturally lit portrait. We have a good overcast outside right now. So we're just going to use window light and then we're going to put in a little bit of fill afterwards and see how that looks. Uh, first, I just want to talk with Miles a little bit and tell him what I want to get. But uh, I think right now, naturally, just this seat is good. I think we could start testing with this and then we might move you around a little bit more and I might ask you a few questions so we can kind of really dial in your personality and mix that in with the shot as much as possible. So uh, we just have him sitting right here. Uh, this side light's just hitting uh, this side of his face right now. We're getting a lot of shadow on this side. We have a pretty white wall from the glow of the, the window here. Uh, I'm going to take a, uh, a few test shots and see how much fill we actually need, but uh, yeah, let's just start doing it. So I'm going to start with an 85 millimeter lens. Uh, my shutter is 200th of a second at 2.8, and my ISO is at 320th of a second. So Miles, just go ahead and, uh, yeah, perfect, that's great. Good test shot, just natural right here. Good, I'm going to pull up my focus right on his face, take a shot. Great, check this out. It's very moody so far, I kind of like it. Uh, we're gonna shoot a few more just natural like this. Uh, let's do a little bit look off to the left. Get a little bit more light in your face there. Great, you can kind of see how this is working naturally uh, with the light just hitting his face. You can see really well the shadows. When you're shooting with lights, you can turn on a modeling light and see a very similar effect. Uh, but it's really great working with natural light because you know what you're gonna get right away. So. I'm going to take this shot. Now kind of glance back a little. Yep, there you go, perfect. Take a uh, scoop back probably about a half a foot. Let's do that. Great. Now just a little bit chin off to your left. Just like that, perfect. A little bit more. Good. Good. Now don't move your chin, just direct your eyes at me. There you go. Good. Now square up right at me. Perfect. I'm gonna widen up just a little bit. Right now I was only about his waist, but now we're gonna get a good full length. Uh, can I make 2470 maybe? I need that instead. I'm gonna use the same lens. I'm on the same shutter speed, 200th of a second, 2.8, ISO 320th. And I'm just gonna shoot a little bit wider. Okay, I want you to stare right at me again. We haven't really positioned any of his mask or his foil yet, uh, but I think we're gonna get into that in just a second. See here. Great, look out the window one more time. Perfect, good look, very pensive. I usually shoot a lot more when I'm shooting ambient light, especially when I'm on a shallower depth of field, uh, mostly because uh, sometimes the focus jumps just a little bit. So I don't mind taking a few extra pictures and really just tapping on the focus to make sure that we're nailing it every single time. Uh, just a couple more. And then we'll move on and add a fill light into the mix. Great. So now uh, we're going to add a, uh, a four by six bounce to it. We have a silver and a white side. We're going to see what both look like. I think we're going to start on the white. It's a little less dramatic than the silver, uh, but the silver might add a really cool sheen to the side of his face. And working with that type of stuff with athletes always looks really nice on their, their muscles, tattoos, uh, especially with somebody with a darker skin tone. So do a little bit of fill. Let's see what this looks like. Uh, pull back just a little on the bottom left. Yep, perfect, thanks there. We're still at 202.8. Great, let me check the difference. Can we pull that away just for one shot? Stay right there, Miles. Look right at me. Okay, put it right back. Good, let's just see the difference. Now flip it over to the silver side. Let's see how that looks in comparison to the other two. You can see right away, just on there, there's so much more bounce. It fills it in a lot more. We have a much more uh, neutral look on his face with the lighting. Uh, it's very filled in, very bright background. His hair kind of pops because of uh, the blonde factor to it, which looks very cool. Always, always working with an athlete, you want to show their personality and really show who they are. Uh, and Miles definitely has a lot of personality. I can't wait to get into more of the the, the other personality shots later with him. 
Okay, so let's do a couple more of these. Let's move in on the, let's do the white and kind of pull it from the side this time. So we're kind of using a similar effect to the sandwich lighting where uh, the, the main, but this time instead the main light is obviously on the right and we're just bouncing a little bit on the left to, uh, to give that fill, look up towards me. We're gonna have a little bit of dark in the middle because we're not really filling on that area, but not too much. So both his eyes should be in there, but a little bit of shadow still, creating some depth. Great. Look out the window one more time. Fantastic. Bow, uh, keep right there, Miles. Jump to the silver side. This will give it a little bit more intensity and maybe a little harder edge light. And we're going to scoop from behind just a little bit more as opposed to the side. Uh, come a little bit more this way, Caleb. Uh, there you go, right there. Uh, and push forward towards him. I want to see if I can get it a little bit harder if we can. And yeah, right there. Great. Right there, Miles. Perfect. Let me check the exposure on my shot. Great, right now we have uh, a nice, a nice uh, good shot. I would, I would call this pretty good at this point, uh, and we can move on to something else. Uh, students, you wanna come in and take a look real quick? So I can show the in pose real quick. So uh, that's our last shot. We're gonna go to our first one really quick and show how we built up that. So we have a lot of dark, a lot of shadow right there. We have that nice fill on the side. It looks very dramatic. I like it just as is. We're just shooting it and showing what it looks like, looking out the window, really focusing that light from the window on that, really getting that nice shadow on the, the, the left side. We could push him back even more and get a lot more on his face, but I really wanted that split. Uh, then we added in, we'll keep going along. We're still zoomed in so you can see it, but you see right there the difference just with a little bit of white. It's a little bit of fill. It's not as hard as just looking from the window light. So now we're just gonna shoot him with no logo on his shirt. Again, this is about him. Uh, we wanna make sure that he's well represented and the focus is really on our athlete here. So uh, sometimes things on shirts can be a little distracting. Uh, we'll a lot of times take gaff tape, cover him up, uh, just to make it the focus purely on the athlete as much as possible. Uh, I like what's going on. Don't move your head. Uh, we're just gonna shoot it just like that. Again, utilize your athlete as much as possible they do things that are gonna make you uh, see a different side of it than what you already have in your head. You're really working on a collaboration here. You're a team. Uh, I can't emphasize that enough. You look good, they look good, vice versa. I'm just trying to make Miles here look good and he is doing a great job making me look good right now. So, perfect. Uh, head up just a little bit. It was a little bit up, perfect, right there. Good. Great. Again, we're just utilizing the window light. I'm still at 200th of a second at 2.8. Uh, we're just using that natural shadow that's happening right now and also his pose and everything else. Uh, so let's throw in a little bit of that back separation light. I, I kind of don't want the fill on the side. I kind of liked what we were doing with the silver and getting a little bit of edge light on that side there. Okay, head over just a little bit this way. Perfect, just like that. So now we, you could see it on camera, uh, you, you have a nice hard uh, light on the back, you have that nice shadow on the, on the right side of his face, and don't move, look down just like you were, great. Can you push your mask out just a little further and your foil? Uh, yeah, a little bit away from your, yeah, perfect. I just kind of want to separate it a little bit more and give you a little bit more room right there. Okay, great, good. I'm gonna move in a little closer. I'm gonna grab my Apple box. Very happy, or <laughs> very handy to have these things sitting around. All right, here, we're gonna do a little tighter shot. Look up towards me, perfect, just like that. Good, don't move. I'm still just getting in the corner just a little bit of his mask and his foil, just to, to really show that Miles is a fencer, as we need to know that sometimes, to have that direct connection. I like that smile, let's do that, Miles, that's great. Nice, look down. Were you checking your watch? <laughs> we can actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's stand up on the wall. Let's get rid of this bench and let's just change it up because I kind of like to see your tattoos a little bit more. Uh, stand a little bit more this way, Miles. Just kind of look at this. Perfect. I like this. Would you ever like hold this in your hand or would you like just yeah. let it lay on the ground? Hold it like this. Let's see. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. Kind of just stand against the wall, lean in. Well, how would you? Oop. There's my Apple box. Perfect. Yep. Again, utilizing how he would do something naturally is way better than me being like, hey, Miles, why don't you come over here and uh, stand exactly like me? Uh, do that? No, no. <laughs> Unless you do that. Is that your look? Is that you do? Okay, here, let's do a shot real quick. 
Look out the window. Good. Nice. How late is that wedge? No, there's no wedge. I'm at 202.8. I'm still liking this a little bit, but I think I'm going to dial it back down a little bit more because we're a little bit further back and we're getting a little bit more light on his face. So I'm going to change this to uh, 250th of a second. I'm at 400 ISO uh, and I'm at 2.8. Don't move. Uh, look down to your left. There you go, right there. Chin down just a little. Eyes, yep, perfect. Eyes up now, chin up. Good, perfect. Now eyes at me. Yeah, good. Uh, Miles, go ahead and just like look out the window just a little bit. Great. Now glance back over at me, good. Having him keep his chin off just a little bit because I really like that shadow. We're gonna do one more. Stand a little bit away from the wall now. Take a step off, come up this way. I want you to turn your shoulders away from the window like this, just like that. Look straight down at me. Uh, let's see here, great. And now, uh, yep, straight at me. Give your right foot out just a little bit more that way. Nope, like this, so kind of spread out. Yeah, right shoulder pulled more forward. Right shoulder, there you go. Yeah, perfect. And then look, face down just right there, great. Let's see, bring that right shoulder just a little bit more, stop, okay. Glance out that way one more time. Good. Now eyes at me. Add in the fill light. Let's add it back first. Silver backside, so we're adding a nice edge light still. All from the sun. Good. A little closer if you can. Okay. Get up to a headshot. Glance at the window. Glance at me. Okay. And now uh, I think we're going to move on to the next shot. So uh, basically right there, we'll show you a few of these. <clears throat> Again, it's, it's very similar to what we were doing before. A lot of natural light, very contrasty on the right-hand side. Uh, I was trying to move your shoulder a little bit more in so we kind of get you more broader, but also give this kind of shadow because yeah. we're, uh, we're facing away from it. So uh, yeah, let's go do another shot.